What's up homies? I'm here with another video reviewing the Stuntman What is this? Shoot. Chest mount with J-hook I got this on Amazon and I don't know, sometimes I feel like the GoPro um, chest mount moves a lot and I don't like how it needs to be super tight so I want to try this. Hopefully it's not a waste of money Okay feels a lot more robust compared to the GoPro one which is more padded this looks like it might be uncomfortable it's like very hard plastic this actually has a buckle unlike the GoPro one that I have I don't know if this is going to be an improvement I guess we got to mount this too Definitely feels a little bit more sturdy. This may wrap around my your chest and preventing it from actually moving up and down. So that might actually might be helpful. All right, let's go straight to the review. All right, I'm out here at Laguna Coast. Gonna test out the stuntman chest mount. I'm also riding the tracer and not the rev rail. There's some issues with the rubbing that I found out. That's pretty major so I can't actually I don't feel like riding the bike in the current state but I'll explain more at the end of the ride I'm about to drop into a lizard in the tracer oh sh Ooh, I'm drifting that turn oh sorry <laughs> Bug bog down here. Oh shit. Ooh. Should have brought my bell. There's a lot of cars in the parking lot. Probably more hikers. Oh, another mug bog. Oh fuck. Nasty. Damn, this bike is so much louder than the, the rebel rail. Oh, this is a bad line. Whew. Another mug box. Oh. The suspension feels okay. I actually got this set up for, for my nephew. He weighs like 100 pounds, so I lowered everything, but I just put it back to what I think was the settings before on this front and rear suspension and it feels very similar to before but going back into the this bike from the Revel the bike feels so much smaller probably due to the fact that this is a 27.5 definitely feels a little bit shorter real base doesn't feel as long but I guess that's part of uh, the bike feeling small but it still shreds pretty damn good. Noisy, but works pretty damn well still. Damn, that's like the end of the ride almost. All right, I think I'm just gonna extend the ride and go down uh, Old Emerald. Yeah, I think that's the name of it, Old Emerald. That trail's hella fun. Climbs pretty good. I think the rebel rail is still a whole lot better in climbing. That's for damn shirts. I'm not even gonna try this one. Oh 
shit. Pretty much finishing up the, the entire uh, Lynx, not Lynx, Lizard's Trail. So I'll see you guys at the top of uh, Old Emerald. Pretty much made it to the top of uh, Old Emerald. I have a mechanical issue with the uh, cable tension for the derailleur. I think it stretched a lot. So I had to actually tighten it. So far it seems to be not skipping anymore. So the climb out of uh, Old Emerald's gonna be fine. Dropping Old Emerald. sandy in areas keep you on your toes otherwise trail conditions are pretty good my fanny pack is hanging off my ass Whoa. Ate it. Got sucked in the rut. Oh fuck, this is pretty unrideable right now. Let's try this. Oh fuck. Oh my oh, oh damn that was a save. Save of the century. More like 2024. Damn, I smashed my knuckle on that fall just back there. All right, it's not too bad. It doesn't hurt. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Yeah. I'd recommend staying off of uh, Old Amber Road for now. I'll give you some thoughts of the, the uh, Stuntman chest mount. Once we're at the top of Missing Link or fence line if you follow this channel wheels dirty you probably know that i'm really into rallycross and, and this weekend's rallycross was canceled due to a weather system damn it's a beautiful weather system why would it cancel it racing would have been fun 
time to drop drop down a missing link or fence line, whatever it's called. My front braking, I'm bleeding. So some first thoughts with the Stuntman chest mount, uh, you definitely don't feel it moving around compared to the GoPro official chest mount, the chesty. So I imagine the footage is going to look a whole lot more stable than my previous footage. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. Probably I'd say it's more comfortable than the chesty. This one wraps around the the pecs, whereas the chassis has like one pressure point, which is the fulcrum, which ends up being the pivot point. Hence why the chesty, the GoPro chesty moves around so much more. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think? Want to leave a comment d down uh, below and get your thoughts? Is the stuntman noticeably better or is a GoPro chassis superior? Let me know what you think. Also, you're probably wondering why I'm not riding the Rebel Rail. I did some experimenting. I dropped the, the air in the rear shot completely down to see what was interfering and it looks like the rear tire is hitting the collar before the shock reaches Full, full travel or full squish, full compression, whatever you want to call it, which seemed really weird. You would think like it would have, it would hit like almost uh, max travel before it would contact any part of the frame. This wasn't the case, it's kind of odd. So I did some more research. I noticed that the, the shock specs stated, or the website stated 230 by 60 millimeter. So I went ahead and checked what was on the, the the bike and sure enough the shock specs read 210 by 50. The shock is much shorter than it should be and the stroke is even shorter. Revel, I contacted Revel and they're sending me a replacement shock. Also wanted to mention too that when I first received the Revel Rail 29, when I first received the Revel Rail 29, I received a uh, RockShox Super Deluxe Plus but the build online for the Black Friday X01 special, it said it should have came with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate. I contacted Rebel about this and they sent me the Ultimate, the one that is on there now. So the 210 by 50 millimeter shock is actually a replacement shock. Kind of disappointing that I received two incorrect shocks. One was a different model, the other was a incorrect spec. Revel mentioned that there wouldn't be any sort of um, unnecessary frame strain or a damage from the incorrect shock, but I'm playing it safe. I'm not gonna ride it until I get the replacement shock installed. I think the next video is most likely going to be the install of the rear shock, the correct one. Third time's a charm, right? We'll see. But yeah, if you want to see that uh, video, hit that uh, subscribe button. If you like this uh, little review video about the Stuntman, hit that like. Otherwise, I hope I see you get your wheels dirty. Peace.